Kamusta? Kamusta? It's it's funny how making a YouTube video becomes a once a month habit or, or duty. Para sa akin, siguro kasi nung nasa province ako, wala lang masyado nangyayari. That's why I'm not making any YouTube videos. Pero now that I'm back in the city, napapansin ko na things are starting to open up again. Yung economy natin are starting to open up again. And alam mo yun, I'm becoming more active again in terms of going out and hanging out with friends. Which is really nice. I think in the past couple of weeks, I ate rice outside with my friends. Which gives me a total of eating outside five times with, with my friends sa sabong taon na to. So bilang na bilang ko pa rin siya sa, sa isang kamay ko. So yung una, sa Samboko Jean, then sa Popeyes, and then sa Bonchon, Tepanya, and then sa Tong Yam. And hopefully as uh, as the year progresses, as as, uh, as yung year natin is patapos na, I could eat more outside with my friends. On the creative side naman, not because I'm not uploading any YouTube videos, hindi na ako gumagawa ng something creative. Siguro this time I just made more content for others. So I did, um, made a podcast for a friend's friend and then nag-edit it na ako ng YouTube video for a friend and then nag-cover din ako, nag-shoot din ako ng binyag. And most importantly, before ko makalimutan, I think ito yung pinaka-important na creative thing na ginawa namin. So we did a practice shoot para sa mga upcoming pre-nap shoots namin. And this is a funny story kasi, so ito yung story nun. So we did a practice shoot, supposedly sa, sa Intramuros, so dun, dun yung una naming location. But unfortunately, we got kicked out. And sa akin, kasi kailangan ng permit sa Intramuros eh. And para sa akin, okay lang naman magbayad if for commercial use yung shoot namin. Kasi pwede naman, pwede namin i-cover expenses ng permit sa bayad ng client. But, pero dito kasi, di ba, pang practice, practice lang. So, I don't think parang it's wise to invest that much para sa pang practice lang. So, yun, we got kicked out by the guard. And then, dumipat kami sa isang location, another location sa may uh, Arbor Square. And yung mga photos ng friends ko turned up really well. But unfortunately, yung video na ginawa ko, it's not the proudest video that I could make. So, hindi siya yung best video na, na mag kaya kong gawin dahil sa circumstances na mga nangyari. Before I show you yung result ng work namin, I just want to mention a very important event or detail dun sa, sa story ko kasi nakakatawa kasi it summarizes how the Philippine society works. And dun kasi sa Arbor Square kung saan kami nag-shoot, we bribed the guard. Uh, nagbigay kami ng konting pera para payayang kami mag-shoot. And nakakatawa lang kasi uh, when you need something or diba? when you need something let, let the money do the talking and yun gagana naman diba pero alam mo it's just shitty na ganun gumagana yung Philippine society so ayun lang just uh, a short um, rant so ito na I'll show you yung kinilabasan ng work namin
before we proceed in this video, I just want to give thanks to some my friends ko who modded for us for free, si Gany Sheila. Again, thank you for your help and salamat, salamat. Then, some basketball court starts opening up and after a few months, nakapag-basketball na din ako ulit. Also, I was able to hang out with some old high school classmates that I haven't met for years. Ay, ang saya talaga. Happy! Tapos, just last week, I attended yung wedding of one of my oldest friends sa college ko, si Sai. It was a beautiful wedding. I think first time ko to attend a wedding as, a, as an adult. Siguro, hindi lang ako nag-pay attention sa mga wedding ng mga relatives ko before. Kaya parang hindi ako familiar. And ngayon, parang, oh, mas, mas na-familiarized na ako sa formats ng wedding. And then, I was able to hang out dun sa table namin with some of uh, my college schoolmates na hindi ko masyado nakakausap before. It was really fun to know them kasi masaya pala sila kasama. Then dito din, I was able to hang out with, with my old friend na si Jessie. So all in all, I really had a fun time dun sa wedding ng classmate ko na si Sai. Lastly, earlier this November, my lola got into an accident and that's the reason why uh, nag-extend yung stay ko dun sa province namin. And, and for senior citizens, yung simpleng tumba or dapak lang could, could become a major accident for them. So natumba siya and she dislocated a bone on her back and uh, it was very painful para sa kanya uh, to stand up, to sit down and, and to lie on the bed. So we have to assist her almost all the time. Pero buti na lang, uh, we're starting to see her getting better and better. So as the weeks pass by, uh, pagaling na siya ng pagaling. Pero the doctor advised us uh, to give it two months. So so January na ulit yung next check checkup niya. So hopefully everything goes well. Okay, so what's the point why I'm telling you this story? Siguro kasi dito ko na realize na it's really important to keep yourself healthy kasi when the time comes na the important people to you needs your help makakatulong ka kasi in my case lifting her needs a bit of strength so buti na lang hindi ako mahina and then during the late nights na kailangan niya pumunta sa bathroom kaya ko magpuyat to help her to aid her now I'm not encouraging you na magpuyat unnecessarily and I just want to say na you know Enough sleep makes really a lot of difference. Again, what I'm just pointing out is keep yourself healthy. Uh, sleep well, eat well, um, exercise, uh, take your vitamins, smile more, laugh more, do creative shit na you're passionate about. Keep your mental health in check. So yung mga simple bagay na alam ko, alam niyo na yun. Siguro the reason why I'm just emphasizing this again because recently as I talk more to, to my friends, alam mo, nakakarinig na ako ng health complaints. Whether high blood sila, elevated yung sugar nila, overweight sila, obese sila, stones are forming anywhere in their body. So alam mo yung mga health problems na yun. So ayun lang, I just, just want to remind everyone na it's really important na to keep yourself healthy. So ayun lang, that's all for this video. <laughs> Hindi ko alam when I'll be making another video again. But hopefully, we'll see you again on that next video. That's it. Bye!